I thought I'd do a little video about this um, UAV forecast. Um, it's um, <clears throat> when I want to fly my um, uh, my drone. There's all sorts of things to take into consideration. There's geomagnetic interference from so this KP thing at the bottom. Um, this basically talks about geomagnetic storm index from 0 to 9. Above 3 means disruption to GPS reception. So it's not exactly reliable when you when you see something at 4. It means um, I would be taking a risk if I was to fly my drone with it. But yesterday it was about 2 point something. So I actually did a little flight test in the back garden yesterday and it was fairly safe. But even though it says green at the bottom... I still don't trust it. I prefer something in the region of 2, uh, the KP of 2. Obviously, the gust wind, wind at the moment is is pretty high, so I, I wouldn't want to fly when it's at, um, well, 30 miles an hour, basically, because um, you could lose. Well, you'd have to put the drone into high-speed uh, sport mode. Um I'm not a sporty person. I'm not interested in speed, and especially in the built-up area where there's buildings and there's kit, there's electrical, well, telephone wires and all sorts of stuff. You can easily run into one of them things, so it's a bit dodgy to actually go in sports mode, which would also compensate for, for the wind, but you could still run into something else. So, um, so obviously gusts are a little bit dodgy at the moment. I've got the wind direction set to the compass, so it actually tells me um it's using the compass so it actually points in the, in the right direction depending on where my phone is pointing um uh, now today it's monday and it's uh blustery it's chilly it's not very warm at the moment i think we had a bit of sun early but no we had a lot of rain actually we had a thunderstorm last night uh well early this morning i think in the early hours of the morning we had a quite a bit of thunder because i could hear it I had a lay in today because I've not been feeling too good still. So <clears throat> my health issues, my eyes seem to be improving a bit, but um, generally my health is 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 just not good right now. Um, so I just wanted to do a little video on this. So satellites, they're good at the moment. We've got fourteen point eight satellites, but unfortunately, what with the geomagnetic index, storm index, that's pretty high. So even though we've got a lot of satellites um, and obviously the wind problem um, and obviously there's the precipitation which is rain basically um, it's at four percent at the moment um, so having a satellite count above 12 or 13 around 13 is good normally um, provided you don't have all these other problems which we seem to be having right now with the thunder and that and uh, geomagnetic storm. So anyway, I just thought I'd just show you why um, why I tend to be a little bit cautious about flying stuff when you know. Um, so I mean, this this app has got such a lot of stuff on it. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't understand all of it because a lot of it's technical stuff and. It's it's the free version, so I can't go into all the detail. I can't look into the, the um, more advanced settings. I just don't need to know all that anyway. And um, there's these chat things, but well, some of you out there probably understand what all this means. But I mean, it's it's a it's basically a graphical representation of the changes over time. Um. Um. So yeah. Anyway, so yeah, well, well, the weather's not so good right now. Um, I'll go back to this start. So anyway, I just thought I'd just do a little video on that so you could uh, see what I'm seeing at the moment. And uh, <coughs> I also want to do some three D printing for the um, um, the stand. Um, yesterday I was trying to land the, the quadcopter on, um, uh, on my little pedestal, which was on, uh, a tripod. Uh, the tripod 
uh, the the pedestal was too small because every time I came down and tried to land on it, I had, I had some air cushion effects and I expected to get some of that. And uh, it, it was drifting off the stand and at one point I didn't film it where I landed on the, ped the, the, the pedestal and uh, it tipped over and fell over and landed upside down on the grass. So. I decided to 3D print some extensions to go around the rim to make it a little bit larger area. So instead of about 100, instead of 180 millimeters, I want to make it over 300 millimeters. So that I've got a larger area. So the 3D printer starting anyway. So anyway, uh, that's it. Just just a little video on this. Um, just telling you what I'm doing at the moment, and um, I'm just basically. Um, trying to get myself I've been doing a lot of washing as well I wash my curtains you'll see that in a later video uh, for the door on the door and I've been doing all sorts I've been busy cleaning up and uh, yeah I, I need to take my big curtains down my, the window curtains and, and wash them as well at some point as well so I'm trying to get a few things done while the weather's reasonably mild and not too bad because once winter comes I need to be thermally locked down <laughs> I need to go into thermal lockdown to keep the heat in the house, you know, because um, it's probably going to be chilly this winter and, and the energy bills have gone through the roof and um, it's just trying to pay the bills is, is the biggest problem right now. Okay, right, thanks for watching.